What's up guys, Inventordude14 here. This month we're building an electric airsoft gun. So here you can see my uh, sloppy diagram I drew out here. Um, there's going to be a motor down here. It's a it's actually an air pump which I salvaged from a um, blood pressure reader monitor. So it's going to be like that. And also I'm going to be using a lot of pill containers because they're airtight and I'm going to have it build pressure over there. So yeah, it'll be like that. I'll just match up the parts. Up here, there'll be the battery. So here's the battery. And it's going to be going inside of this. And then um, after that, there'll be this part. This part obviously doesn't have BBs in it at the moment, um, but I did manage to drill it out. So that'll be like this. And then underneath that, there'll be the pressurized container, which is slightly bigger. So hopefully there'll be more pressure than in that container. So it'll force the BBs out. That's my goal here. And that'll be connected up to the motor which is the pump, obviously, and then that will, once it has enough pressure in here, when you push the trigger, it will release a solenoid, and this little solenoid, which I have right here, will be in between, it's actually, it was part of the pump before, and it released air. It will release the pressure from this container into this one, effectively shooting out the BBs. Just before we begin with the um, shell, the outside here, all the plastic pieces, we obviously got to make sure the electronics work, so, um, first thing here is I have a part of a cordless phone. This was a cordless phone, but I, um, it broke a long time ago. Except for the batteries, the batteries still were working, just like the base broke, and then all the phones were useless once the base fails. So, um, yeah, anyways, I cut away all the useless parts. It still works, it still charges the battery, and I have two of these batteries. So, that'd be nice for the, um, airsoft gun. So I've soldered the positive and negative contacts, our leads onto the contacts of the motor here, the pump, and I've also melted holes inside this um, pill canister. So now it's ready to be loaded inside. This will be the hole for the air pipe, and this one will be the hole for the wiring. So uh, let's see if I can do this on camera. There we go. Just like that. So now we have both the wires, positive and negative. And we also have access to the air, the air nozzle, so that will connect to this. And this will obviously connect to the rest of the assembly. And then we can just take this cap and put it on the bottom. And now it's secure inside this container. It's not going to wiggle much because the wires actually make it really tight fit. So that works out really well. So now the next step is probably finding a better battery. Um, when I've looked deeper, or I looked more into these, I saw they're only 2.4 volts each. This is a 6 volt motor. I was thinking that it might not be enough. 4 volts, 4 point, um, right? It was, yeah, 2.4, so 4.8 volts. It's almost 5 volts, but still, I don't know if I want to charge two separate batteries. I think I'd rather just have one big battery power the whole assembly. So I'm looking for batteries still, which will go probably like in this top part of the assembly, which like will be like this. So I'm um, still looking for a battery. So I was hoping to finish this project in one month, but obviously that's not going to happen. So there's going to be a part two, which will be uploaded next month. Um, this, I was hoping to build it all in this month, but this month ended up being more of a planning and testing phase of the airsoft gun. I promise next month will be, you know, more building and the demo video. I'm going to put a demo at the end, uh, probably shooting a paper target or something like that to demonstrate uh, the power of the airsoft gun, and um, so that should be interesting, you guys can look forward to that, um, and that's it, so we'll see you guys next month with part two.